now that I got in the first part of upgrading my Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, I'm going to review opening the Cobb Access Port box, the unboxing, as well as showing Gen X Performance that I got this stuff from. So, to start with, I got the mount here, which this is the one for mounting it to the windshield. Then, Gen X Performance also sent me some nice peanuts to go along with my order. Thought that was kind of cool. And they sent me this hat. Now with those out of the way, let's get to the important part. The unboxing of the Cobb Access Port version 3. So you open the box and then you have this nice card that says your access port is finally here. Well, it was delivered pretty quick from Gen X Performance, so I'm not sure how I feel about the finally part, but I am glad it's here. So, looks like it comes in this nice case. We unzip the case. Inside you have the quick start guide protective piece of foam then the access port version 3 also known as an AP3 we have the USB connection cable which is for doing your firmware updates as well as downloading maps from a computer onto the actual device then we also have an additional black frame in case you don't like the gray frame Then this is the actual holder that mounts in the vehicle. Then we also received two of the Cobb decals that you can put on your vehicle or on a device. Now we'll set that over out of the way. Now let's look at the accessories box and see what we have in here. So when you first get it, I pre-opened this so I wouldn't have to fight with it on the camera. But this lip will be stuck pretty good. So when you first open this, we have another mounting bracket for if you wanted to stick the cob to your dash. You can just use the 3M that's there on the back. And then that hooks into the back of the cob so you can hook that up. Then... Here we have the actual communication cable for the AP3 to connect to your car. This is the end that connects into your OBD2 connector, which is usually under your dash. And this is the end that goes into the Cobb AP3. Next, I'm going to cover how you can load your maps and update the firmware on the Cobb via the PC. Oh, this is so freaking hard. So real quick, I wanted to show you too. So there's a little notch right here. And if you just pull up on that, you can separate the faceplate. Then I'd recommend starting at the top. Then just slide your fingers down. You'll hear the click. Now the new faceplate's on. And you can see the groove right here on the bottom. And then there's also the charging port. All right, now on to showing you how to upgrade the firmware as well as loading the maps. So obviously, step one is going to be we need to take the twist tie off of here. Take this in, plug it into the port right here on the side. Then we'll take this end and plug it into a USB port on the computer. Okay, now that we have the cob hooked up to the computer, we'll open the access port manager. Now it looks like that's got an update, so we'll run that real quick. So it looks like it's already running the firmware update. Access port update. 
and now rebooting the access port. So, not knowing how long this is going to take, then we'll go ahead and cover another piece of the setup process. So we can go to www.cobtuning.com, click on the little head over here on the right. This will take you to log in or create account. If you don't have an account yet, then you would need to create it. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Once you get in here, you'll see the vehicle that you have over here. If you haven't had, don't have one yet, then you can add that. These are two maps that I've already downloaded, or I should say that I've already purchased. Don't worry, don't let the word purchase scare you. They're free. That shows what other Cobb products I have. And then this is where you will register your Cobb device. So to start with, you'll need to pick what your Cobb model is. And they're usually relative to your vehicle. So mine is the AP3 MIT from Mitsubishi 002. Then you will need to get the serial number off of the device. Let's just see if our updates are done. Well, I'll be right back when these updates are done. All right, so now that the update's done, we'll click OK. And that'll give us a list of each of the updates that have been applied and what they've fixed. And when these updates were last applied. So we can go over here to manage. Search for maps if we already have maps. As you can see here, these are the two maps where I told you I had already purchased them for free. And then have downloaded them to the system. I put them in a directory under the access port manager to make them easier to find and just called it maps. So from here you can load maps onto the device but first you should look at the device and see if it already has the maps you're interested in before you go through the whole download process because the device does come preloaded with a set of maps for your vehicle that you ordered it for. So back to where we were at on the website. So if you're not sure where your serial number is, if you look on your box, there should be two barcodes. And there's one that has numbers and one that's alphanumeric or has letters and numbers. This should be the one that is your serial number. So we'll put that in. Register our access port. And there we go. Our access port is now registered. So we've registered our access port, created our account, added our vehicle. If you wanted to add more maps, you just come up and go to maps. You can select your vehicle. Hit find maps. And this gives you the whole list of maps they have. So you can pick like mine runs on 93 octane. I want a performance tune. I'm running the stock solenoid. I've got the stock exhaust. I have the Cobb access port. Right now I have the stock air filter. And now that we've selected these options, well, that takes us down to one map. So I can go over here to get it. Takes us to here. Again, we tell it what type of fuel we're using, what type of wastegate we have. Then we just add it to the cart. Now 
Then you would select your country, your state, zip code, hit your estimate. Once it refreshes, notice zero dollars, zero cents. Proceed to checkout. Confirm the billing information. Continue to payment info even though there's no payment needed. Place order. And now it's been added to our list of maps. So if we come back over here, click on the little head again, take us back to our profile. Now you can see we now have three maps over here. Then all you got to do to download these is click on the one you want to download. And depending on which browser you're using, it may prompt you to save it somewhere. Just remember where you save it so you can get to it when you're using the Access Port Manager. Okay, and now if you don't know how to get the Cobb Access Port Manager, let me reopen the window here. So you'll just come in, notice I'm still logged in. Then you go to support. Access port support. Then access port manager. Once you're here, you'll select whether you have OS X or Windows. Select that. Then You'll just run the file, go through the normal setup process. I've already done it, so I don't want to do it again. All right. So that pretty much takes care of the PC side of things. Next, we'll be showing you how to install the Cobb into your car and how to load your first map. Okay, so now that we've switched to the camera phone, let me show you how to hook up the access port and install the basic software that's on it. So I gotta open my access panel here. Now some of you may have to reach underneath the dash, but I put in an extension cable so I wouldn't have to do that. See, my nice cable. So let's unhook my Bluetooth OBD2 adapter that's already on there. Now we'll hook up the one that goes to the AP3. We'll get the end of it here that plugs into the cob. We'll take that. Now you'll notice there's a couple grooves on there. You gotta make sure those line up so then it plugs right in. We can go ahead and drop it into its cradle. So there's that. So now we're at the home screen. And here on this little helpful home screen, this is the button help guide, so you hit OK to accept or select or go forward, cancels don't accept, cancel or go back, up to scroll up, down to scroll down, hold OK for more information or context help, hold cancel for a screenshot, hold up to repeat scroll, hold down to repeat scroll, or press the power button to put the device to sleep or to wake it up. So all good things to know. So we're going to hit OK to go ahead and continue. Now that takes us to the main starting screen. From here, you'll need to install this into your car. So let's look at this helpful manual they have here. And if you look at the manual, this is actually for Mitsubishi. So each page set is for a different brand, but yet your AP3 is going to be specific to whatever brand a vehicle you have. So we've already plugged it up. We've already plugged it up to the AP3. It says now 
turn the key over to the on position, but do not start your engine. So let's do that. So we're in the on position. Select the install option. So it says install the access port to your vehicle. So let's do that. It says please confirm that your vehicle matches the identification results. USDM United States 2013 to 2015 Evolution 10 GSR. Yep, that's what we are. So we'll hit OK again. And now it says select a map. Well, we can do the stage 0 V403, stage 191, stage 191. Well, I run 93, so let's go with the stage 193. So we'll select that one. A battery charger is recommended. Please turn off headlights and climate control and connect a battery charger before proceeding. Continuing without a charger may drain the battery and leave the vehicle inoperable. So that's everything that I can turn off off. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And it now says, please wait while the access port reads your ECU. This could take a while. So some other things you might notice while it's doing this. You'll see the brake light come on, the traction control, service engine soon, and pretty much all your warning systems for the car will come on and turn off throughout the duration of this process. Hey look, it hit 100%. Now what's it telling us? Please wait while the access port. Do not turn off the vehicle or unplug access port. Please wait while access port now flashes your ECU. So now we get the percentage bar again. So before it was reading everything on the ECU, now it's writing the new map to the ECU. Now, while this is going, I'll go ahead and tell you about the next couple of videos that I've got coming out. So I'm going to be making a video that covers how to reset that annoying engine ready for service warning that you get up here on the dash. And it in that video I'm also going to cover what all the menu options are and what each of them mean and what they're used for in your regular info menu. So that's going to be one I'm going to cover and then once my Cobb air intake gets in here then we'll make a video on how to install the Cobb Stage 1 Plus air intake system and then we'll change the map up to the one that's for the Stage 1 Plus air intake system from Cobb Tenney. Well, we're up to 88%. We're almost done. Now, I'm going to provide all the links that re reference to anything that I'm doing here in the description below. So if you look in the description for this video, you'll have the link both to Cobb Tuning, to Gen X Performance, where I bought it from, Oh, oh, we're done. So let's look here. Please wait. Installation is successful. Please turn the ignition key to the off position and wait for at least 15 seconds. <coughs> the plus side is I can use the clock right here on the camera to count the 15 seconds off. So if anybody's got any questions, uh, any suggestions, things I could do better, then please let me know. Yes, I know half my head's cut off, but the focus is the access port, not me. All right, so we've been at least 15 seconds, so we're going to hit OK. It says, remember to connect access port manager for new features and to update new maps. All right, so now we're back at the gauges mode. So let's start this up. Yeah, I think it did drain the battery a little bit there. Well, hope you all found this video helpful. If there's any questions you have, please feel free to ask. If you have any improvements, anything else that I could add to the video to make it even better, 
just let me know and hope this is okay for my first video in two years and my first video that's not a game footage video so thanks for your time if you enjoyed this video if you found any of it helpful please click the subscribe button down below if you want to know when my new videos come out then go ahead and just click on the bell down there and that'll let you know whenever I post new videos thank you God bless and have a good one